We're taking off right now. I woke up like this. Time to go back to work. I wanted to show you guys something when it comes to backing. So when it comes to backing, as you can see, I got about a space and a half until I hit that thing in my jig and I still won't hit it after a space and a half. So I kind of got like two spaces before I hit this object at the butt of my trailer. So since that's the case, one thing you could do is when you back up, you could, you know, just poke your head out the window if you could do that, you know what I mean? Or fix on an object over there that equals about a space and a half or one space of backing before you pull up. You know what I mean? That way you don't hit something behind you without a spotter. Just, just a little trick, you know? Yeah, vacation time is up. Time to go back to work. I'm gonna tell him to give me something light because I'm shaving off some of my clock right now. Got my mans right there, private fleet backing in. Just hooked up to the trailer. We're going to Tulare right now. Let's go. Here's in. Let's go down here and check. And we're locked in. We're good to go. And I'm off the ground already. So this will be easy. Handles out, pins are out, or handles in, pins are out. One, two, three, four. We're good. I'm gonna take some photos of this and we're gonna head out. We got Tulare and Selma. Slip on the good old vest. I didn't wear this um, on Sunday. I wasn't wearing my vest. Should have. This one dude got pissed in Santa Maria because he had to move four pallets. Right here, they're gonna have to move like six, maybe even eight. <laughs> See, dude, they had to dump out all of this. They dumped out eight pallets right now. All right, so now we're off to Selma. See how I'm not holding the camera straight? It's hard, dude. I got a hat here. I look like a mess right now, dude. I got my gloves and my clipboard, so I don't gotta put them right there. I gotta dust all this off. Having that flash on fucks everything up, huh? Yeah, I was wearing a hat. I might as well put it back on, huh? So, let's get out and look real quick. So I got a lot of space right here. I just got to be careful on um, on my side, actually, but I could see it, so we'll be all right. Docked it in. Let's go inside. They got the rest of the trailer. Man, that dude in Santa Maria, he was pissed because he had to move four pallets. So Larry had to move eight. Damn. They got one dude working on this load. He's knocking it out too. We're on the last three already. It's been like 10 minutes. This whole truck, like this whole trailer was full. That was an easy unload. That was an easy route. This is a great way to start the week, man. Had eight hours, did something light, came back from vacation. Well, just two days off, but Man, I really like this account, man. 
I wouldn't be surprised if I stayed for another year. I really wouldn't. So, we're wrapping up right here at Flying J. Park between two of them. Did a pull through. I got this big bag of laundry I gotta do. So I'm just gonna sleep here. This is like one exit away from my exit to the yard. So with that being said, be sure to smash the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and we're back at work. I'm thinking about staying with England maybe one more year and just doing a lot of vacationing, a lot of traveling just around the state and really showing you guys how a good account makes the difference. You know what I mean? Even if you're on over the road and you just go to cool places, you could take your two days off or your resets off and make a little vacation of it. That's the cool part about trucking. Peace out.